it's often said the Super Classico is a match between the rich and the poor, the wealthy River Plate from the north of the city and Boca Juniors, the people's team here in the south of the city near the old docks. The class divide is certainly one of the elements of the rivalry, though with both teams' successes, they've really both got fans from all walks of life. Now they dispute who's the biggest team in the city, in the country, and also on the continent. But it all started out when it was a dispute over who was the biggest team right here in La Boca. Both clubs were formed by the children of immigrant families who'd arrived from, from Spain and from Italy. And it's only when River Plate left in the 1920s that the two were first separated. Boca stayed here in the area and it's here that they built the, the famous Bombonera, the legendary stadium, one of the great atmospheres in world football, where the supporters demand, above all, commitment and spirit. And to an extent, really, it's that drive which helped Boca dominate Argentine football and South American football in the 2000s, but also take on the likes of the Galactic Real Madrid or the Milan of Cafu and Maldini and win intercontinental trophies. River Plate moved to the north of the city where they built the Monumental, the stadium where Argentina were 1978 World Cup champions and where the home fans traditionally demand a slightly more expansive style of football. They call it the three Gs, ganar, gustar y golear. They have to win, they have to play good football and they've got to score loads of goals. The most recent successful era really was in the 1990s when River Plate had the likes of Anan Crespo, Francescoli, Aymar, Saviola, Gallardo and Ortega. River and Boca no longer dominate football in Argentina as they once did. The game here has levelled out and the country's two biggest clubs have suffered as well. But nonetheless, they're still respected around the world, not least for the production line of talent that they both continue to produce. And when it comes to the fixture itself, there are a few matches in the world that really match the Super Classico for its intensity, for its tradition and, of course, for its history.